way we trust already, yeah. uh, I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Way we trust already, yeah. uh, make copies and swap them for the next set of tapes a few days later it took weeks to get them all copied and he never knew I had them this was my way out some of the tapes had things I would have never expected the gay parties are one thing but the young boys like Usher, Lil Bow Wow, Justin Bieber I would have never known my god is he grooming Quincy? Now, unless you on cloud 10, I know rock. Right? How you heard the mother can word? What's good, y'all? It's yours truly. Once again, Heartbreak Ace. For me with my content or not, hit that like, comment, subscribe so the algorithm gets bring content every time I upload. Because nothing like Diddy. But to the algorithm, I got a special delivery. <laughs> nah, man, all jokes aside, y'all read the title, man. Shout out to Cam Porter, man. Shout out to the family, bro. But she destroyed Diddy out of the grave. Literally, that's what the title says, that's what I mean. Now, everybody pretty sure y'all heard about the Kim Porter and this book that she was going to release before she passed of pneumonia. Well, a book with Kim, about Kim Porter, that same book that we speaking on started to hit the airway. And some say that uh, a friend of hers uh, released it and it was not even a real book. It was just kind of like a summary of what it could have been about. That's what they was trying to say. But I don't believe that. I truly believe because of the details in this story and the way she told this story, I don't see nobody else, especially a man, trying to get clout to be able to detail this story the way it's going to get detailed. Because you can tell that it wasn't written by somebody else professional. You can tell it was kind of like the way that the words are, you can tell that it was jotted down on some journal like type shit that she was trying to hide from Diddy, of course. Now, the clips I'm getting ready to show y'all is, is chapter 18 and chapter 19 out of the Kim Porter book about Diddy being exposed to him. And we getting the clips from my guy, uh, Dre, from OG Dre Reacts. I don't know if you're familiar with his channel, but if you're not, tune into my guy, man. He do a great content. He more on the spiritual side. He more on the um, secrets of the world, the CIA, stuff like that. He, he got a lot of dope content, man. I, I advise y'all to go tune in, subscribe to his channel. Um, and just, just have a debate like minded people but I just want to say that shout out to him because I got the clips from his live but without further ado man I ain't want to hold y'all up too much I'm going to let y'all hear that Kim Porter Mount herself so you already know what we're doing the op on the block you know Ace ain't never scared and I ain't never sitting here with the op on the block right if you're familiar with my channel what we doing let's spin the block that would be my last sex party. My body will never be ravaged by so many people again, especially while I'm pregnant. This. Ooh. What if something happened to the twins? After that, I wanted out. But when I tried dating someone else, they would end up dead from pneumonia. What the? F I knew Sean was behind it. This was not a coincidence. He gets jealous of a guy and they die of pneumonia. I could be next if... Oh my... So... She did she have some kind of pneumonia? Oh. Let's continue. If I'm going to get out of this alive, I'm going to have to do something to make him stay away from me. I had a plan, but it was dangerous. Sean has a vault where he keeps videotapes of all his conquests. I started sleeping with him again. After he falls asleep, he was starting to drink heavily. I would get into the vault and get a couple of tapes, take them home, make copies, and swap them for the next set of tapes a few days later it took weeks to get them all copied and he never knew i had them this was my way out some of the tapes had things i would have never expected the gay parties are one thing but the young boys like usher Lil bow wow justin bieber i would have never known my god is he grooming quincy this has to end Ooh. I invited him over one day to confront him 
and put an end to our on again, off again relationship. He entered my house unannounced for the last time. He would no longer have the key after today. I was in the kitchen. Kamora and I were sharing drinks. I was scared to face him alone. Sean entered smiling. What's up, Kimmy? Hey, Moore. I told Sean to sit down. Because of my tone, he looked at me stunned and asked, What's going on? What is this? I responded with delight. Me taking my life back. We're done. He answered. Hold on. Wait a minute. I was so excited that I wasn't hearing any of it. I shouted on him, no, no more. This is effing over. He looked confused as he asked, where's all this coming from? With disgust, I said, I got effing footage, son. He looked even more confused as he inquired. What are you talking about? Kamora said with revulsion. Usher too? Sean said, wait. What the F is going on? Sean stood aggressively and Kamora responded, Don't make me call the cops. Sean's anger was creeping in as he replied, This is how it is. I simply nodded. If anything happens to either one of us, it gets released. He seethed as he queried, After all I've done for you, I don't think I was ever so happy as when I said those words to him. Get out! Piss, he started to leave, looking back with pure hatred. As he walked down the stairs, he turned around in a fury and lunged at me. He knocked me down near the top of the stairs. I was hurt. Kamora screamed, Stop! As he began to crouch over me, I kicked at him, hitting him in the kneecap. Then his face. He went tumbling down the stairs. He was too hurt to get up. I called the cops. Kamora left before they arrived. When he left, it was in an ambulance. I felt empowered. I felt safe. But Sean Combs' days had finally come to an end. Chapter 19. Finale. Things were okay for a while. I started dating again. It was almost normal until I got serious with someone. Then my boyfriend died of pneumonia. I knew it was Sean again. That's when I decided to write this book. A few days ago, my home was burglarized. Only laptops were stolen. I know it was that bastard or his goons. Of course, I had a copy in the cloud that I was able to easily download here onto this new computer. As I continue to write now, I'll send this into the cloud as well. I will send out copies via email and my Google Drive password will be attached so the missing chapters can be accessed. This book must get out. There are so many more chapters to add. This outline is a great start. I have to organize the rest of the chapters and add them in little by little. I plan on spending today working on exactly that, but I'm not feeling very well. Thank God the kids aren't here this weekend so I can rest. I'll call Kamora to cancel our tentative plans for a meetup. When I spoke to her, she said, girl, that doesn't sound like the flu. You want to go to the hospital? That didn't immediately alarm me. I just need some rest, I told her, and quickly got off the phone. But why can't I get my doctor? Why won't he pick up the phone? I don't know. I called Sean for my bedroom where I'm lying in my bed. All I can think about was the kids, my babies who are with this monster, that man that I now suspect of having done this to me. Sean picked up with that air of superiority in his voice that let me know it was too late for me. He spoke confidently into the phone. Hello? I screamed at him. You bastard. I have your effing children. What are you talking about? The kids are with me, he replied with a mocking innocence. There is literally nothing I could do. I could only ask. Did you ever love me? Instead of answering the question, he responded. The most important thing to me in the world is loyalty. I couldn't believe it. I had to ask even though I understood. What the F does that mean? With the same faint innocent, he mocked Kim. Is something wrong? He's going to continue this game to the bitter end. I asked one last time, how could you? Again with the narcissism I had now come to despise, he responded, how could I? Do what? I gave you everything. You went to someone else. You left me just like everybody else did. You asked, how could I? 
How could I what? I yelled, look what you did to everyone around you. There was only anger in his response. So you're saying everyone leaves because how I am and, and you were going to expose me? He had me burglarized. I knew it. I shouldn't have threatened him. I should have just published a book. I'm going to die like Heavy D, like Biggie, like Pac, like so many others. And it's because he is a monster, plain and simple. Before hanging up, I simply say, that's not the only copy, you F. Then I shoot out a group text. I let everyone know he got me. Then I call 911. As I sit here waiting for the ambulance, I am writing this chapter and praying that I make it to the hospital. I don't feel like writing anymore. I may not be around to see it in print. It's okay. I'm sending it out. He won't get away with this. I will have to say my final words. Sean Combs will get exposed even if I lose my life doing it. My kids have always been my most cherished possessions. I want the world to know that but more importantly, I want them to know. And that is the end. And this book basically answered a lot of the questions that we all had. Mm, mm, mm. I'm to lose this relationship. But I gotta stay strong. Cause I don't wanna move on. I know you see. Just like a whole I knew when you took. I took to the door. She's a man. Let's fuck. All right, y'all, we back, man. Like a little five, ten minutes worth. It wasn't really too long, man. But I had to pump my brakes, take a breather. Did y'all hear what I just heard? Did y'all hear what I just heard? Now, let me be very clear with this right here. All these acts he's doing on anybody, whether they're adult, man, woman, child, it's horrific. And justice need to be served for that. But the worst part of this is all is, number one, the people that didn't even him to keep doing this shit. Because who the fuck is Diddy? His money was enough for y'all to be scared of this suck ass nigga. Y'all should have beat the fuck out of this nigga. And let him get it how he live. You should have beat the fuck out of this nigga, bro. Anytime y'all had a problem with this nigga, y'all should have just beat his ass. I don't give a fuck if you a billionaire. You got to use them billions of dollars to get you some bodyguards or something, nigga, because I'll I'll fuck you up. That's what these niggas should have did to him. Real talk. Instead of enabling him. And the second thing is... You did a lot of this stuff with kids, bro. Usher was a child when he went to your... Puffy Kemp. Justin Bieber was a child. They both were 14, 15 years old. That's your thing? 14, 15 is old enough for you to do what you're doing to these niggas, man? Whoever did that to you, bro, you need to get them too. You a victim as well. Even though you a monster now, you was, you started off as a victim too. Y'all all gotta go. Y'all all gotta go. It's too much evidence and proof. This ain't just hearsay no more. Now, you can call me bias all you want to because Jay-Z is one of my goats and all of that, but y'all don't have no proof on him. So the shit that Jagger are writing these motherfuckers is doing, y'all need to just shut the fuck up for real. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. Because if all y'all doing this shit for clout and none of this shit is true, bro, y'all y'all trying to destroy these people. Image. Now we can't get mad because they billionaires, bro. They went and did what they had to do and got it, got it how they live. And I'm pretty sure if anybody else got that same opportunity, they would have chased the same dreams, bro. We're not going off for that. We just going off of hearsay when it come to them two. But when it come to Diddy, it's a lot of evidence. It's a lot of proof. It's detailed too much for it to be fake. Unless y'all niggas are great actors or y'all got some Hollywood storytellers to write these stories to make it seem like it's true. Cause that could be a possibility. But it don't look like that's it right now. It don't look like that's it. Now you heard what Kim said. And she true. All them people that was around Diddy died of pneumonia. All of them. 
Now, when you think about that, all the people that was around him was doing the same shit he was doing. Now, I don't know about the illegal shit. I mean, as far as the places he went, parties, and all of that, the lifestyle, the way they do drugs and shit, they all was doing this shit together. Minus the sex part. How come everybody else, even his wife, got pneumonia? This nigga ain't even had a common cold. You never even heard Diddy having a common cold in his fucking life. If that ain't spooky to y'all, something ain't right, bro. Ain't that much money in the world to keep this nigga to never be sick? To never have a snuffy nose? Never. Never have a stuffy, none of that. No cough, no nothing. We never see this on camera. Never. Y'all don't think that's weird? That P. Diddy is the first human that don't even get sick? P. Diddy is the first human that don't get injured? Do y'all think that shit real? We hear about him getting injured now, and that's the reason why he's started being addicted to pills. That's the bullshit y'all want to say, but whatever. It's a lot of people addicted to pills, and they ain't doing the shit you did. I don't think that this is a uh, fabricated story. I don't think there's some person that was cool with Kim and, and made the story up just so it can get out there, just to try to give to help the prosecutors in this case against Diddy. I don't think none of that is. I think it's exactly what she said. She made copies for safekeeping. Her mistake was telling him this shit. She should have faked it till she made it. She should have faked it until the, the fucking story was out and then left his ass. Cause then it would have been hard for him to try to do anything to her. Anything. And then I do believe he groomed Quincy, his son. I do believe that. Because these niggas still taking up for Diddy. Y'all been around this man all y'all life. And y'all grown now. You even got y'all on camera with the little white girl that y'all met on the streets. A young underage girl that y'all met on the streets and y'all kissing all on her and shit. Talking about, and she calling you daddy puff and all that. And your son in the background smiling like they trying to coerce you what to say. Like, spit it out, spit it out. Nah, nigga. Y'all was in on it. I ain't gonna say all y'all. But you boys was in on it, man. You gonna tell me that they don't know what's going on with this nigga all this time. Come on, bro. Cut it out. Cut it out. Now, all the other names y'all want to add into this shit, if y'all don't got proof, man, keep them people name out of this shit. But when it comes to Diddy, bro, all the evidence point back to him. Everybody that's coming out with this shit keeps saying Diddy name. Diddy, 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 Diddy. Diddy is the ringleader of this shit. Diddy, 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 Diddy. All I'm saying that. What else story do we need to hear for real? Because this shit what he was doing with the kids, bro. I really hope. Because she said in there that they, they burglarized, burglarized the house or whatever. So I really hope that she kept some of these videos for safekeeping. Because she said she made copies and all of that. I really hope that's true. And I hope we find them. Because it's going to put all this shit to bed. And I know it's going to be embarrassing for the people that's caught on camera. But that's the only way we're going to get this rid of this monster. That's the only way. And people ain't gonna look at y'all as bad because we now know that majority of these guys that he had sex with, they are not attracted to men. But the baby oil was really a drug that makes you extra horny, but non-responsive to any, any reaction and you can't move. So basically he can penetrate you because you, your hormones is racing, but you can't, react to it whether it was good or bad you just got to sit there and and probably try to take it scream with all that bullshit you just got to and i recently got, i heard another leak i shared on twitter i would not share on youtube but the audio in that is sickening it's definitely diddy voice it don't sound ai and the person he was doing this to was supposed to be some kind of singer from back in the day that was white a guy just go on Twitter, go to my page or whatever, you might find it. I ain't really want to speak on it too much, but y'all can kind of read between the lines what I'm trying to say to y'all. He definitely raped some guy. Took advantage of him. It's crazy. Now, I don't care what you like to do behind closed doors, in the sheets, whatever. That's, that's your preference. 
And when you force somebody to do it, or you take advantage of them because you know they poor, don't have no money, don't have no, no way of life, don't know if they're coming or going. So you use that as well to think you're going to have them financially stable. Bro, y'all deserve to stay sleeping in jail. All y'all niggas need to be together. Become a new YMCA gang in jail, cosplaying. My motherfucking Bill Costa make y'all some jello pudding. I'm just saying, man. But that's all I have for y'all, man, in the moment, man. Now, leave a comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel for real. Now, I don't know, man, but this world keeps showing me every day. Ain't showing y'all what I always say. Love each other. Till next time. Show us truly. Heartbreak. <laughs>